Hey, welcome back to Ramsey Land. Today I want to share with you a neutralization reaction. Check this out. Over here I have 250 milliliters of water and this speaker is empty, this speaker is empty. Check out what happens when I add them. Where is that color coming from? And check out what happens when I add this speaker over here. Unbelievable. It vanishes completely clear again. How did that happen? All I'm using in this reaction is some hydrochloric acid, some ammonium hydroxide, phenothaline as an indicator, two beakers that are empty, and one beaker that's filled with 200 milliliters of distilled water. To begin, add a couple drops of phenothaline to your distilled water. You'll notice that it's clear in the presence of water or acid. Next, take a dropper and very carefully coat the wall of one of your empty beakers with just a very small amount of hydrochloric acid. Next, do the same with your ammonium hydroxide, a very small amount. So of course, once both beakers have their ammonium hydroxide that's been rolled in one and the hydrochloric acid has been rolled in the other, if you're clever, you can make it look like those two beakers are empty when you add your water that has the phenothaline first to the base, the ammonium hydroxide, it turns pink. Phenothaline is pink in the presence of a base. And then when you pour that base solution into the beaker that has that little bit of hydrochloric acid, it neutralizes it and it turns clear again because phenothaline is clear in the presence of an acid. Okay, so what's going on in this neutralization reaction is you're adding your ammonium hydroxide. These are your negatively charged hydroxide ions with hydrochloric acid that have positively charged hydrogen ions. And that becomes ammonium chloride. That's your salt, your ionic compound that's neutral in water. I hope you enjoyed today's edition of Ramsey Land, and I'll see you next time.